folks. My name's Mel Torsey, and um, I just thought that, you know, these old rock walls didn't happen by themselves. The fields didn't get cleared by themselves. And this place where we're standing, or where we're sitting, <coughs> along about 1860, or 70, probably 70s, uh, great grandfather Winthrop Gilman Torsey moved here from down on uh, Pease Road in uh, Meredith, and his family lived here for a time before they built the, uh, uh, before they bought the old place over on Upper Oxbow Road, just as an aside. Uh, one of the poems that I wrote, I just thought I should share it. It's called Start and Finish with Prayer. I wonder how this land would be if every day would start with all of us upon our knees, praising God from each heart. Just think of our forebears, trusting God for all their needs, helping each other to build and care for each farm by love and deed. The fields that we see today had to be cleared by sweat of man and ox. The axe cleared the trees from the way and the walls were made with rocks. Yes, each farm was built by hand, carefully crafted with care. And so, their days in this new land were started and ended in prayer. And I had told Glenn, I'd asked Glenn if it would be all right to offer this little book of poetry for sale, for donation, which is going to go to help support all that this cost, the renting the tents and the fireworks and everything else. So if anybody's interested, I have these, and some of the folks have already uh, gotten them, and I'll autograph them if you want and so forth. Anyway, that's all. I just want us to think about that, you know. I appreciate so much because as a kid coming here to Aunt Minnie's, <laughs> And I learned only within the past 20 years that they had actually lived here before they bought the old farm on Upper Oxbow. Anyway, thank you. I want to make sure that Yeah. 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 
Tell me. That was right out here. The house. No. Um. Was it the house right here? Where was it? Come on, open your mouth. Oh. Um. Um. Oh. Oh, the Allen place. Oh. Okay. Tell me the story about it. That that's the name that it was before. Well, M Net Aunt Nettie lived there before my dad. That's where I was born. And you were born there? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Seventy-seven years ago. What? That you were born there. And this is our my our cousins. Okay, I'll tell you. Jean, she's my twin. That's me. I was always told. And Jean was your twin? Well, Uncle Wien's daughter born the same year. So many of us were born the same year. We were like set for twins. And I, we were head twins, Eddie and Mom. Mary, 
the nuevo. And that's we, and that's Leslie, and that's Drivey, my brother. We all mix together. We were just so happy. Well, Karen and Karen were always together. We never spoke one minute, but we spoke the other. Yeah. Kent and Kenneth. Both of them were so mutual. Yeah. 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 And this is when I moved up to Hunza Henry, lived where yeah. the family is now. They also and at they the also time that you were born. But they also lived at Uncle Ian's place. Yes. When they, Uncle Ian, Grandpa Tossie, and Aunt Hattie, and oh. <laughs> I think I grew up, but I'm not sure when they all went out to California. Yeah. My mother and father stayed at Uncle Ian's and tended the place while they were gone. That meant the panel would never be Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all... We all did for Can you else. just see the happiness in them kids? Because they are together. Well, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Making it a seat. <laughs> we were all double cousins by a father's and a mother's side. One generation or the other. Wait. Yeah. Your father will tell you. Yep. Yeah. She's in a cute age. Yeah, she was. Yes. Eight. Yes. Eight months. Yes. Eight months. Oh, no, no, no. I just went like that. Okay. Oh. Okay. I like him when he's at age. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Shiny. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take off the dirty. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Wayne. My grandmother. Have you looked at these? Nice you gotta take time. Oh. Aunt Hattie. Your little baby is right. Hmm. You know who she was? Aunt Hattie? Hattie Stevens. Was she um, grandpa's? She was my grandfather Tarsen's sister. Guy Tarsen's sister. And at one time when they were teenagers, they lived in our house here. They, they did. When this is that lady when she, this one, the girl, the was young. And this is old heart. Them way back there made stage pictures, so they brought this old house here. And Uncle John was brother and sister, right? Joanne? What? Uncle, Uncle, Uncle John and Aunt Hattie were brother and sister. So what? Like I said. So what? Get a sister. <laughs> that was the mother of Louis Cohen. Yeah. I don't remember her. I don't remember her. I already no, got the sun table. I, I, I think I remember reading her when I was little. I mean, I, I knew Lil Wayne more than I knew anybody else. And, and that okay. is my grandmother, Lavina, Lavina Jane, Cotton. Yeah. yeah. My grandma, my great grandma. Yeah. Charles B. Stevens yeah. was buried yeah. in the cemetery with an old white stone. Actually, he was in the upper Yeah, right on the left hand side. I don't know. Down at the uh, cemetery in Ashland. Yep. You go through the, the gate right there, and all my relatives are right there on the left hand side. Huh. And Aunt Minnie and Uncle Tribe are way out and back on the other side. Hi, you're not going to whip on up on the floor. You can't, you can't, you're driving. Is that where I'm going? Brian? Is that where I'm going? Brian? What? Yeah, Zelda there too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right beside the driving. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh yeah, I go there all the time. Do you know Well, I've, I've seen those oval stones. Do you know what Dean and Maria is? Yeah, well I know my dad, my grandpa is. It's right there. Is he there too? Some of the other Tosh's never put her No. But he's got, you know what it was? It's just beyond my father's. Okay. With a big gray stone yep. and a semi trailer. Yeah, I found that one. I found that one. And you go up around the college where Brian Smith, my brother can't Son is I did. You climb up to my uh, radio. Did you can go in the outer corner, up back, the upper room, as you go into that uh, radio? My grandma? Uh, and Lucy, uh, Nanny, and John. Yeah. They're the, like, right there where my uh, my grandma right is. Below. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know where Brian was. Okay. Yeah, I know now. It's up there, yeah. You just told me, yep. No, I can take it right here. No, it's right up. You know about New Hampton? Where about, I don't know where New Hampton, I don't know anything about the New Hampton one. Aunt Laura is, is Aunt Laura in, uh, in New Hampton? The Stevens lot. Yep. Just beyond the Tossie on the left, go by one, two, three lots. And Aunt Lois? Yeah. Do you know it? I, d I no. Down by the yeah. All right. She's buried in the Stephen lot. Okay. I could find that. Patty Stevens. And Jesse Stevens. She married Jesse Stevens, which was my grandmother's brother, Charles B. Stevens' son. Charles B. Stevens, you see a white white stone that stands his eye. Yep. Charles B. Stevens. CP Stevens, or whatever. Lorena James was buried with him on the stone. And in back of that, it says, Hey, Stephen, and her husband, Jesse, which is a brother to my grandmother, Darcy. Stephen. They lived where Wyndham Road did. They had a Coolidge house. That meant they took people from down the road in the stable. They made teams of horses. And a driver, maybe Uncle John, would drive them to the mountains, to the ocean. Oh, really? It was a whole summer thing. Wow. And where Wyndham Road, the people one we all hate, but uh, did, uh, she voted against town meeting. She's in the legislature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A Republican? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tell me that I didn't select man. Like you did the select man. Right in the window. Her father was dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay? Did you know this? Oh, yeah. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. 
they, they had a whole bunch of them. My grandpa does his sister. Lonely. And, okay, the other name is Lonely. His Uncle John and I had a grandpa Tossie and Lonely. Four. Winthrop Tossie had. <laughs> and, and they lived here and over there. And Winthrop Tossie built the farmhouse over there. He also built the house just as you learned down the bridge from Dana Hill on the right. Winter. Okay. Gilwood. Tarsi. Yep. He also come from Gilwood and Ironworks, as your father yep. told you. Yep. And, uh, but the carpenters, they did whatever they had to do. But, yeah. So this is my grandfather growing up. His father, his mother, his aunt, Abigail Cotton. That was her grandmother. Wow. And she's buried over the hole in this by the way old barn. You'll find that in the cemetery. Okay. By the outlet of white old barn that goes down. I know where that is. Yeah. But well, we all yep. do it with ice fishing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we take all the kids. You the kids, I the kids, and have ice and turn ice cream. Have yep. you ever done that? No. Ice fishing. Yeah, the whole family is doing it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I skate and turn the ice cream. Yeah. You ask anybody, they know. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know. So I'm sitting here looking at my my great grandmother and my great grandmother and my great grandmother and my great and my great not from the kind. That's right. I won't tell you no more. Nope. How have you been? Oh, I tell you. Well, I've been talking to you. Oh, 
this is what I've always wanted to say. Do that again. Are we doing a bandana? 
We should do a banana just for fun. We don't have to do it. It's that hasn't been used, Dad. I was going to say, is that used? No, no. 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 I did that. Okay, then we got to sit down. Well, the littlest one's got first, right? Yeah, but you better around. You're going to end up hitting it and breaking it. That's it. Okay, your best shot. Hey! Hey! 